everybody we're back to playing some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist today's video will be centered around Yugi's grandfather Solomon Muto uh yeah his deck you know I mean very like was well, kind of based around like his uh old school uh days of because he was an archaeologist but also a known gambler when he was younger he looked like uh yugi with a beard like yugi if he was in his uh late 30s early 40s and uh on his travels he's like you know so i mean he was just like a, a very adventurous kind of guy most of his deck, uh, for the most part of what we've seen, was centered around mostly like Egyptian type of ex uh, aesthetic. So, uh, going over a bit of what he definitely had in the animes from what I saw. But more importantly, he did have the Exodia uh in his uh, zodiac cards in his deck now if you've seen my other earlier walkthroughs of the campaigns every once in a while i did use my own version of the exodia uh well i like to say it's an exodia deck because i've been using it based around like quick wins just to get past like certain bosses that i just couldn't get past by any other ways but he definitely had like a thing going here. So uh, let's go over the few cards he did have. Witch of the Black Forest. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, add one monster with 1500 or less defense from your deck to your hand. Wandering Mummy. You can flip this card into face down defense position once per turn during your main phase. After you use this effect, rearrange the face down defense position monsters on your side of the field, then return them face down defense position. Uh, Swarm of Scarabs. Once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. When this card is flip face, uh, was flip summon, target one monster your opponent controls, destroy that target. Swarm of Locusts. Once per turn, you can change this card in. Uh, two phase down defense position. When this card is flip summon, target one spell or trap card your opponent controls, destroy that target. Uh, Spirit of Pharaoh. This card cannot be normal summon or set. This card cannot be special summon except by the effect of the first sarcophagus. When this card is special summon, you can special summon up to four level two or lower zombie type normal monsters from your graveyard. Sinister Serpent, during your standby phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can add it to your hand. Also, banish one Sinister Serpent from your graveyard during your opponent's next end phase. You can only use this effect of Sinister Serpent once per turn. Sangen, if this card is sent, to, sent from the field to the graveyard, add one monster with 1500 or less attack from your deck to your hand, but you cannot activate cards or the effects of cards with the same name for the rest of this turn. You can only use this effect once per turn. Warrior Keeper. Once per turn, you can flip this card into a face down uh, defense position. When this card is flipped face up, it gains 300 attack and defense until the end of this turn. If attacked, this effect resolves after damage calculation. Regenerating Mummy. When this card is sent to from your hand to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect, returning this card to your hand. Pyramid Turtle. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one zombie type monster from with 2,000 or less defense from your deck. Uh, Mystic Tomato. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one dark monster with 1,500 or less attack from your deck deck in face-up attack position. Guardian Sphinx. 
Once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. When this card is flipped, summon, return all monsters your opponent controls to the hand. Giant Axe Mummy. You can flip this card into a face down position. Yeah, same thing. Uh, if this attack, if this attack of a monster, if the attack of a monster your opponent uh, on your opponent's side of the field that attacks this card in face down defense position is lower than the defense of this monster, the attacking monster is destroyed. Uh, Exode, Master of the Guard. Uh, cannot be normal summon or set. This card cannot be special summoned except by tributing one uh, Sphinx monster. Each time an Earth monster is flip summoned while this card remains face up on the field, and inflict 1000 damage to your opponent. Exodius, the ultimate forbidden lord, must be special summoned from your hand by shuffling all monsters in your graveyard into the attack into the deck and cannot be special summoned by other ways when this card declares an attack send one monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard this card gains 1000 attack for each normal monster in your graveyard if this face up card will leave the field banish it instead if there is one if there are five different forbidden one cards in your graveyard that were sent there by this card's effect you win the duel. We'll see if we can try to make that happen. I doubt it. I got Exodia, the Forbidden One. If you have, if you have right leg of the Forbidden One, left leg, right arm, and left arm, in addition to this card in your hand, you win the duel. Exodia Necros must be special summoned with the contract with Exodia. And cannot be special summoned by other ways. Cannot be destroyed by battle or a special or a spell or trap effect. Once per turn during your standby phase, this card gains 500 attack. Destroy this card unless all five of these cards are in your graveyard. Uh, the Exodia Forbidden One: right arm, left arm, right leg, and left leg. Then we got, of course, the. Uh, Left, right leg of the forbidden one, right arm of the forbidden one, then we got the left leg of the forbidden one, then the left arm of the forbidden one, all forbidden left arm sealed by a forbidden left arm sealed by magic, who's whosoever breaks this seal will know infinite power. Then, of course, we got Pharaoh's servant, an apparition of those said to formerly serve the Pharaoh. It has tremendous loyalty that does not waver. Pharaonic Protector, the mummy of a soldier that has been guarding the royal family for thousands of years. Even now, its spirit does not allow anybody to trespass. And of course, he also had at least one blue eyes white dragon until Kaiba ripped it up because for some stupid reason he didn't bother to just keep it and have four, all four blue eyes white dragons. Because in the anime, it was a very rare card. There's only four it ever made. He has three. Uh, Solomon had one. And he ripped the freaking thing in half. It was it was un -effing believable. But this legendary dragon is a powerful engine of destruction. Virtually invisible, invincible. Very few have faced this awesome creature and lived to tell the tale. Of course, then we have the first sarcophagus. During each of your opponent's end phases, place one face up, place one card face up on the field from your hand or deck in this order: second sarcophagus and third sarcophagus. If the first sarcophagus is removed from the side of the field, all of them on the side of the field are sent to the graveyard. When you have all three sarcophagus cards on your side of the field, send all sarcophagus cards on your side of the field to the graveyard and special summon one spirit or the pharaoh from your hand or deck. We got Ordeal of the Traveler. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, your opponent chooses one random card in your hand and calls the type of card, monster, spell, or trap. If they call it wrong, return the attacking monster to the hand. 
non-aggression area. You can activate this card during your standby phase. Discard one card from your hand. Your opponent cannot normal summon or special summon normal summon set or and or special summon during their his or her next turn. Uh, of course, we included the embodiment of the pulpus during either player's main phase. Special summon this card as a normal monster, reptile, earth level four, sixteen hundred attack, eighteen hundred defense. It's still considered to be a trap card. Backup soldier. While there are five or more monsters in your graveyard, target up to three non-effect monsters with fifteen hundred or less attack in your graveyard. Add them to your hand. Tribute to the Doom, discard one card, then target one monster on the field, destroy it. Thousand Energy, increase the original attack and defense of all face up level 2 normal monsters on your side of the field uh, by 1000 points until the end phase. Destroy all level 2 monsters on the field, on your side of the field during the end phase. Uh, the third and second sarcophagi, sarcophagi, plural. Uh, painful choice. Uh, Mirage of Nightmare. Once per turn during your and opponent's standby phase, draw four cards until you have four cards in your hand. If you do, during your next standby phase, after that, randomly discard the same number of cards you drew. Uh, okay, gold sarcophagus, uh, mercy provisions. Uh, send any number of spell or trap cards you control to the graveyard, gain 1,000 life points for each sent card. Contract with Exodia. If you have all five of the Exodia pieces uh, in your graveyard, spells to summon one Exodia Necros from your hand. And change of heart. Target one monster your opponent controls. Take control of it until the end of the to, until the end phase. Okay. So we're going to try out Ex uh, Solomon's pretty much is technically an Exodia deck or slash uh, Egyptian deck. Uh, also in the anime, he was the reincarnation of one of uh, the pharaohs, I want to say priest. And you know, I always had, a, you know, besides the a medieval Japan, which is also one of my favorite uh, periods in history, I always also had a respect for the Egyptian uh, mythology and its history. Aside from the whole Jewish slavery thing, which is kind of effed up, I still really, really got a uh, respect for it. And it's just the whole Egyptian mythology it was very fascinating. Is there anything about Solomon Moto that you like, like or, or you know, tell me what you like, or is there a favorite moment uh, in the anime that you like of him? He also had a cameo in Yu-Gi-Oh GX, but it seems like in that one, I guess some years went by, but it seems like this dude was like suffering from slight dementia <laughs> for a moment. It was like, wow, the years have not been kind. And in his younger days, he's pretty much treated like the uh, like an Indiana Jones with a gambling addition, which he did have a respect for games, so it makes sense he opened up a game shop, I guess. Should have gotten a cyber jar. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you. 
Ah, it has to stay on the field, I guess, to make it activate. Not a good start. You know, I really liked the episode during that uh, Grand Championship uh, arc. Uh, and it was like something that Kaiba was uh, putting together. It was one of his and Mokuba's dreams to have like a event. Mostly for like uh, orphans like they were. But... But um, one of the episodes during that arc, he got nothing. But one of the episodes of that arc, uh, Solomon fought against Joey. And it's like they did have like a student teacher relationship and pretty much taught. Uh, Joy, all he knows.
Just hit my mic. Had to scratch my nose. If he has a uh, like monster reborn or something, I'm screwed. of monsters that require like a uh, effect that automatically fits right back down after you flip it up Oh my god, I forgot to flip it face back down. some of my blue eyes.
Let's try his grandfather versus his grandson. Who also taught uh, Yugi what he knows. Spear Reaper. I can discard Wandering Mummy, but I just need to choose another card to easily discard. I can use Bombless Trap Hole. I know you got Dark Magician somewhere. Thank you. 
Yeah. Crap. Oh crap. Forgot about that non aggression everything. Right after this, I'll take on Joey. It's gonna be a short video. I mean, short in a sense.
you know, Solomon's deck is pretty much like a downgrade version of, of kind of Exodia deck I have. Uh, just to make sure that I try to at least uh, use Exodia in some fashion. Uh, he guessed right. Let's see if I can try to try to get. I know you probably see me use Exodia, the Forbidden One, uh, but I want to use it just for the purposes for Solomon Moto or Muto. that a second ago.
Crap. You're talking about like an unlucky draw, man. I gotta pull Exilia exactly. Well, we'll just cut it short right here, you guys. But thank y'all for joining me. It was. I mean, I wish I can done the Exodia win out of one of these, but it didn't pan out that way. But you'll get the gist of it. If you've seen my previous videos, you know how Exodia works. But thank you all for joining me. I will see you all in a week. Uh, going back to Red Dead Redemption. Try to finish up Samurai Jack and some other stuff. So take care. And I'll see you all soon.